Hey there. In our working from home series, I want to ask you if you're having any back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, maybe a headache going up the back of your head. This is probably due to posture. Chances are if you're working on a laptop or you're working at your desktop that you only sat at, you know, for two hours a weekend usually, and now you're at it all the time, you may be sitting in a non-ergonomic way. So the reason I feel confident in sharing this information with you is because I went through two and a half years of physical therapy about 150 years ago, and I went from doctor to doctor to doctor, and they all told me, you're wackadoo. And finally, I found a doctor who said, yeah, you are actually in pain. And this doctor was Dr. Emil Pascarelli. Love this man. He wrote this book, which was great because it was what I needed. What I really want to show you is how our posture makes all the difference. So let's look at these illustrations. Are you generally sitting like this with your eyes going right above the middle of the monitor? Or are you more likely hunched over? Let's pretend this is a laptop here, right? So the laptop is shaped like this. So you're even more hunched over to look at the laptop monitor. And what about, you see how she's all curled in over here and her arm is kind of stretched versus here where she's very comfortable, almost at a 90 degree angle. The beauty of these illustrations is that it helps you then see how are you sitting. So when I work on a laptop, which is infrequent, I really only use laptops when I go to see a client, which obviously I'm not doing anytime soon. Um, for my desktop at home, my desktop that I'm looking at right now is on one, two, three, four books, four big, thick art books. And then my keyboard, whoops, is loose and separate on my desk, my actual desk. And I just knocked over a very cute picture. Anyway, so there's a big space between my keyboard and my monitor. So now when I'm looking, it may not look like it to you, but I am looking all right above the middle of my whole monitor. And that's what you want. The tricky thing is when you have a laptop, I highly recommend you put your laptop on four or five or six or 10 books, whatever, to get the laptop monitor in such a way that your eyes are going to right above the middle of the monitor. And then take a keyboard from someone else in the household and put it on the table, not as high as the books. Don't use the keyboard of your laptop. This way you are more ergonomically positioned and therefore you can sit up straight, maybe not military straight like her because you also got to breathe and move, but definitely not curled in like her. It's also important to think about how do you hold yourself in general? So my natural body type is kind of curled in. I don't know why, maybe because I've never been an athlete in my life and I've worked out maybe 10 times in my life. That's, that's not true. More than that, but not a lot. So what I naturally do is sit like this and curl forward. And what that does is it curls my shoulder in. So I can curl like this, but I also curl in. You see what I'm saying? So it, it uh, squeezes what's called the ulnar nerve. And when the ulnar nerve is squeezed in here, it goes down the arm through the, uh, that little uh, ridge in your elbow. So if you're having any pain in your ring or pinky finger, this is the ulnar nerve telling you, sit up. Sit up and go like this. Stretch it out. Stop compressing these nerves. I am not a doctor. I have never been to a day of medical school so you have to call a doctor to get real, true guidance for your body. What I'm telling you is based on my experience, when people start working from home, even before this pandemic, 
they just were all like, oh, you know, it's cozy. I can work from home. I can be like this. And then within two weeks, they are, oh my God, I need a massage, which none of us can go get right now. Oh, I need more aspirin, which none of us can get right now. Um, a hot shower will do a nice amount, but knowing about your posture, sitting up appropriately without, you know, being rigid and just sort of moving around throughout the day, maybe do some stretches, get up and walk around. Um, number one, notice if you're hunching and if you're uh, tense, because I will tell you, I am a tense ball of tension these days, just with everything going on, having my whole family here in what was my quiet working from home space for 13 years. I now have a cacophony um, and, and fear. I mean, fear is real and it is valid. And so it's making me tense, right? So I have to be aware of it. I have to acknowledge it and then work it out. I hope this was helpful. If you like these videos on working from home and you wanna see more, subscribe. I think you just click the button below and share it with your friends and your colleagues because I wanna help as many people as possible. And if you have any topics you want me to discuss, you can message me directly at rena at managementformillennials.com or you can comment below the video. Thank you, and may we all be safe and healthy and find contentment in this crazy, crazy time in our world. Amen.